the state. How are you guys doing today? Not too bad. Good, thank How you. So you guys are playing your uh, nearly sold out show in King Tut's tonight. How are you feeling? It's it's very very nearly sold out. When it's out, so sold out, we'll, we'll yeah, be very very When it's happy. sold out, we'll be we'll be happy. Another half an hour, which it will be. Aye. So hopefully by the time it's sold out, you guys will have a massive announcement to tell everybody at the mm -hmm. gig tonight. Would you like to tell us what your announcement is? Yeah, basically what we're doing is is um, we're changing the name. Yeah, we'll name. yeah, that's pretty much what it is. But it is like not just a name change, it is it is totally like a different direction that we're going in as well, like in terms of uh, the music, the, the, music the sound and, and all that kind of stuff. So we as of tonight, after this gig will be known as Oceans. So what was the kind of reasoning behind the name change? Uh, with, it's a great decision. Uh, with the enemies of the state, before people would listen to us, they would all already like have formed an opinion before they'd even listen to the music. Yeah. And we want the music to encompass something more than enemies of the state would just pigeonhole us. As a polite, political uh, band. Uh, yeah. The minute people hear it, they just assume that that's all they're about. And we, with the stuff we're right now, it's just a good decision. We just says, you know what, it's time for a change. And what better way to do it now that we've got the line up that it's pretty much for life. and. We're writing about the stuff we want to write about, so that's pretty much it. It's, it's the best thing for us. Yeah. Hang on. So you're talking about a little bit of writing there. What is your process when it comes to writing your songs? I think like it will start with either a guitar riff that's been recorded, or or a, or a melody, or a hook that's been recorded, or, or a lyric or something. And it usually starts off with that one thing, and then everything else is usually built around that. Um, but most of the songs I would say are, are, are usually written around a guitar riff that's been recorded and usually you know if I'm kind of on the bus or on the train or something I'll have that playing in my head probably constantly for a week in my headphones and and I'll just usually build lyrics you've already got like a book full of lyrics though yeah so, so just kind of putting them together but I think I think the thing with writing songs is that I think firstly I think everybody does it probably differently I don't think there's any right or wrong way of doing it I think it's right as long as it's the right way for you. So obviously you guys have been together quite long now. Mm -hmm. What is the most rewarding part about being in the band? Best pals. Best pals, best mm -hmm. times. Uh, the nips are good as well. Yeah. <laughs> I've got quite better at that since joining yeah. the band. I'm still no up to par but you're getting there. Mm. Like genuinely I think like on a like on a serious note, I think that like even it's just that's such a laugh. It's not it? just like you two, you, you progress each other as well. Those people as well. Yeah, yeah you and, totally like, progress each other. That's what's up. Yeah, like, and you, you kind of push each other on to, to be better, be, to be yeah. better musicians. And it's, I think, in terms of like the whole experience, it can be very rewarding, not just in a musical sense as well. You know what I mean? Ah, it's good. Every band's career, they obviously have their ups and downs. Would you guys like to tell me what some of your best and worst gigs have been that you've ever played? We've got the worst. Can I explain? Let's not say the venue, but let's just. No, yeah. well, no, don't. No, no, I don't let's know. just say it was in Inverness. So it's like and the place is stuck in time. Like, this place is not left. No, movies. we, we so literally played to a man and a dog. And then the bar staff cleaned up around us, the mopped where I was standing, yeah. to move out the way while we were playing. Yes. To clean. Honestly, that was, actually happened now. As I say, <laughs> a lot of a lot of bands they they hit out with that phrase, you know. Oh, I played to a man and a dog. Like we, we literally, literally played, played to a man. What was the dog called again? Dog. <laughs> Casper. Casper. <laughs> Casper the dog and the old fucking alky man. The guy was sound though. And yeah, it was really nice. He still left after but, two songs. But he still left. <laughs> <died. laughs> So, yeah, that was probably the worst gig ever. What about your best gig? What's the best one you've ever played? Tonight. Obviously. Uh, <laughs> mm. uh, oh, I, I still think up there we went with the Carlin, just because of, that's the kind of, nah. like, for me personally, because... You know it's not called the Carlin. What's it called now? What's it called now? It's not been called the Carlin for like 10 years. Yeah, it's called it. I don't care. Anyway, it's... <laughs> it was a, just because of the I fact of the size of it. I think like, seeing I was on that stage, I was like, that's I the size stereo, we need to be. I, I'm going to agree with Gary, I'm uh, going to go stereo. stereo. We, 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 we played stereo oh, that was uh, that was a few good. months back, and we absolutely fucking owned that. Um, broadcast, we played like, a few months before that, and it was absolutely packed. It that was, was like, that For was, a music that, video? That, yeah, that was fucking For Atlas. Amazing, man. That was, we, we, I, we filmed some of the Atlas video at broadcast. But the stereo gig was just kind of probably bad. the first time where we realised that, like, we took it to 
the next level. Like you know what I mean? Like it's you, you get there every time. You get bands that will play. You'll get bands that will play gigs that will be good. But like that stereo gig was the first gig we played where we took it to that next ah, level. Shit. Felt right. That's the thing though. We're getting better every gig we play. Yeah. Like after that tour especially, like we got so tight on that tour, just because we were playing every day. I mean, our movement got better. Like we got tighter as a band, as a collective, and it was just. That's why we need to just keep doing. Well, it sounds like you guys have had some like extremely exciting times in the last couple of years. Have you got any exciting plans for two thousand and sixteen? It's a busy year. Mm-hmm. We have a lot. A busy year. We have a lot. We've got um, so. Right, I'm just trying to think of what I can tell you and what I can't. Right, so over, we've got tonight at Tuts, and we've got a wee break over the next month, and then after that, we will be filming our first gig with the guys at Bell and Ebble. Um, and that's the first of three videos we'll do with Bella Rebel. Uh, and then as of March, we'll be playing in um, Edinburgh. We'll be playing Edinburgh on twelfth of March at Sneaky Pete's, and then we'll be playing Glasgow on the nineteenth of March at Sleazy's. Uh, the Sleazy's gig will also be the first gig where we have our new merch as Oceans, and and I'd like to say on this this interview as well that anybody uh, who has an enemies of, uh, enemies of the state T shirt will also get an Ocean Sea shirt for free. Um, so that will be live on the, the 19th of March. And then pretty much after that, it's all tour and EP EP and, and festivals and, and stuff. stuff and that, all that stuff will be, will be announced in, yeah. in due it's course. Exciting. Just last week, we finished recording um, yeah. our EP. Yeah, uh, back yeah. Final so, touches to put on the end yeah. of February. So and then yeah. mixed and mastered. And yeah. then we'll be ready to release that and have a show around it. Ah, uh, it's sounding massive, Woo! but like it's it's a different mm. it's a different ball game. It is. It sounding is. very very exciting. So I've got a couple of sort of more fun questions now. Yeah. Um. So the first one is, what song, any song in the whole entire world, could you wish you would have written? Thong song. Thong song. <laughs> yes. <laughs> to me, should, should we demo it? Because I mean, I think we did write it. I think in the future we travel back and. Thongs like a truck. Truck truck. <laughs> Guys like what? What what? Maybe we but. But, but, all I know, let me see that song. Let me put it Maybe that battle don't want to like the way. We are. So, uh, yeah, that's a serious answer, by the way. There's that's song, it. song, but. Song, song. Yeah, like, it has a, it's perfect. It's got yeah, yeah, it's a song. Song. I'm, I'm feeling yeah, you, should, you should maybe do a cheeky cover of that one later on. Oh, uh, we that from songs to artists and bands is there any band or artist you guys wish you could collaborate with um josh you know I, mean, I don't know man like for me like, personally i personally i'd probably say like something like queen of stone age or something Definitely, like that, man. man like just because yeah. of the experience they've had and the amount of different things they do i think that they would so i would totally go for queen of stone age Pers- yeah, personally no, I, I'm the same, man. I don't know about the boys but i could i could go with queen of stone age brand, brand new for you right? seagull ross by amayo oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. them are explosions in the sky so right. kind of some dreamy, dreamy and spicy. Yeah. For the final question today, this is this is a bit of a, this is one that I've uh, I've asked quite a few people, and the answers have varied like completely, like right. massively. What is your dream venue to play? It could be anywhere in the world. Earth stage. Oh. <laughs> the answer, no, I don't know. The moon. <laughs> the moon. Guys like that. I want to be the first band to play on the moon. Oh. <laughs> I could do. Well. I'm actually thinking the Barrowlands. Barrowlands for uh, me yeah, personally, like, just because that was the first place I went to. I'm not gonna tell you about it, so. I see. Um, but what are you going to see? Avril Lavigne. <laughs> I'm jealous. Can we cut that? <laughs> no, Here, I'm she jealous. Went, like, oh, she no, winked at me. I'm, I'm actually she winked, she winked at me, man. No. Fell in love right now, man. I'm only kidding, because like, the first, the first <laughs> band that I will like, <laughs> see, the first band that I will see is five. <laughs> I was close. I said boys do That's yeah. what. Everybody five. get yeah. up, sing it. One, uh, no, two, bad three, bad three, four. four. Yeah. First band that I will see is five. Uh, personally, what was You're the question? What venue? <laughs> what venue would I like to play? Like, I would say um, either. Not the Hydro Man now, just because it's. <laughs> the sound's pretty shit in it, but I just want because I used to. I want Sky Park, so I'd like to be in the Hydro look and just go out. <laughs> to all my bo- all my bosses. The Coliseum. You the Coliseum would be <laughs> sick, man. That'd be class. <laughs> Then we could have a gladiator fight at the end. <laughs> to do that. Yeah. Well, as long as it's just used fighting each other, I just I would yeah. have my thumbs down. I'm Caesar. What was, so what was the answer to this question then? The Barrow Lands. We said Barrow Lands. Have we seen the Barrow Lands? Yeah, yeah. Barrow Lands. We go on tangent, baby. We just 
get a question and then we just roll with it. That's what we yeah. are. Yeah, we're going with that. Oasis or my favourite. Don't you even start <laughs> me. Well, well, thank you very much, guys, and I'd like to wish you all the luck for your show tonight. Thank, thank you. Thank you.